Maybe even in there. Could possibly have a moat along there. Some of them might wash uh, our enemies back into the brambles. Oh, that would be a good one. That would be a very good one. May have to look at doing that. But now, though, my next step is going to be setting up an area for another farm. We want to set up the tomatoes next. The rest of these can be popped back into my uh, inventory. So, I'm going to need two scarecrows. One for the um, tomatoes. One for the pumpkins. I would like to make more sleeping space. I genuinely would because right now we've not got enough, I don't think. But. Oh, I've actually found all the pumpkin seeds we need. Now we're one step closer to restoring the deer tree to its original majestic glory. Where did you find all these seeds anyway? There was a ghost guarding them? It must have meant a lot to him when he was alive for him to keep watch over them after death. Which means he must really have faith in you to entrust something so important to you. So don't let him down. Treat those pumpkins with the care they deserve. Pastor Al tells me they should be quite easy to grow. You just need to plant the seeds in tilled earth and water them. Just like cabbages and wheat. So let's get to it. Okay. Another plant. Yeah. Went all the way to Furfield Bog to find those pumpkin seeds, Avak. It would be a shame not to plant them all. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, Avak, you have done well to recover those seeds. The children of Hargon have been trying to destroy them for a long time now. When you plant them, you will be one step closer to seeing the deer tree completed. Your hard work will not only produce vegetables, but also bear fruit. You hear the pastor, Avak? Let's plant those pumpkin seeds. I want to see them sprout. Okay. Ooh, a couple of people fancy that, uh, well, sorry, Zangiri fancies that maybe when we change the toilet into a rust, uh, sorry, a rustic bathroom, sorry, not the toilet, the, the bathroom, that may have caused them to stop producing, uh, to, to stop being a communal bathroom. That's a bit of an issue. I love that Malroth will, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, Malroth, uh, will go in pet city. That's fantastic. I, I like that a lot. No, okay. Well, one thing we could do, as has been suggested, we no longer need this fantastically huge wheat farm, so how about... Bump. And I want this farm to be wheat. Then we're going to... Bump, bump, bump. Uh, let's go and do all these. Oh, I think they're ants. The ants are fine. The ants go down stupid easily. And they just give us more wheat seeds. I mean, this is the reason why we've got a crazy big wheat farm, though, is because we've got so many wheat seeds. Uh oh. Purple sky. Need to sort this out. I like that this is a persistent threat, actually. It might seem annoying, but uh, no, I genuinely think it's quite cool. My little trees growing. Let's uh, get all this done. Donk and donk. Yep. A few extra seeds from that. One more round. Don't think so. I mean, there's some off to the side. But, oh, no. I was going to say there are none in the fields, which is uh, the main thing. Right, let's get this sealed off then. It's most of the way there already. Yep. Any 
any others? Maybe. That's going to take out a load of stuff. Okay, right, well that done, we can drop off a bunch of seeds. Drop the cabbages off. Uh, down the I do ultimately want to create a much better uh, position for my um, kitchen. And it's going to have to wait a little bit, I think. There we go. Now then, we're going to need some uh, a gate. And some fencing. I don't believe we've got enough gates. Oh no, actually we do. Take it back then. We are going to need some more fencing. Probably that much is more than enough and will keep us going for the rest of the game. But uh, Sorry, uh, the rest of this island. Since we only need two farms. Still worth having. Right, pop that about... Uh, what is it in line? Pop. Um. Actually, that's not so bad having that come up by one, but it wasn't quite what I needed to do. To be honest. This little area in here should become a field again. Make sure that that's set up correctly. Yeah. Right, time for me to remove all of these, because I need to plant the first pumpkin, otherwise my peeps don't know what to do. Right. Hey Lady Shelab, hey Waterproof Bubbles. It actually makes me stupidly happy that, that Shelab enjoys this so much. Ah, <laughs> it makes me stupidly happy. Exactly. There we go. Right. Let's plant you down. Right about there. And in here, I want them seeds. So first, pumpkins. The martyrs are gonna take something quite special to do, so I'd rather just get the pumpkins down. So pump. Yeah, a lot of the stuff is out of the boxes now in this place, but uh, still got a, f a bit of work to do. Can I te tell this? Oh, well, I'm just going to drop these in there and I'll let uh, the peeps take care of that when they next get a chance to. There we are, they're taking care of the watering. I am going to take care of all your bread. Haha, <laughs> it's my bread now. Sorry, everyone. I just, I do need it. But... Right, nice. We're already sprouting. Yes, the seeds sprouted. We've grown a little pumpkin plant. I've heard so much about pumpkins. Apparently they taste great when you grill them. And they're really good for you too. Can't wait to try some for myself. Soon enough, we'll have the deer tree back to full strength. But I'm not sure what will happen then. I've been studying it day and night to try and figure out its mysteries, but... Speaking of mysteries, the ghost is back in the graveyard. Uh, ghost back in the graveyard mentioned something strange. He said there was a builder who lived on this island long ago, and he's the one who turned it into a utopia. But if that's true, then why did everyone stop believing the builders spread desolation and despair? You ask me, it's not just the deer tree that's surrounded in mystery. This story about the builder is too. Well done. There we go. Right. Now, I am going to need a fairly chunky field of um enough those blocks, I don't. Uh, let's see. Six of these, sure. Uh, I'm going to need a area to... Let me just 
try and get this down. Pop a little reservoir. Damn it, why am I so bad at this game? Ah! Uh, actually, no, you're not gonna go there. And the reason you're not gonna be the one to go there is because uh, I don't think you need it. Plumbery lumber, a large piece of plumbery wood that could be used to make a lovely log cabin. And use as well. And then bark, a tough outer tissue of tree. Uh, any other nice, nice block? I really don't. Most vexing. Uh, oh, I guess flagstones would work. Dunk, dunk. Damn it! You know what, though? Uh, let's not use chalk here. Let's use flagstone. Unfortunately, I don't have enough other blocks to go to the front. Or do I? No, I really don't. Uh, that's vexing, but okay. No, I really don't have any other blocks. So I guess we'll use softwood at the front then. Okay. And what I need next is a sluice gate. I would like to make a proper irrigation system, but we'll see what we can do for now. Uh, I'm going to need a bunch of these. Ah, Compen resubbed for 60 months in a row. Thank you very much, Compen. Let's go uh, deal with these monsters. Okay, they're just murderizing themselves. Ouch. Will anyone come over here to help? That was right now. These things don't do small amounts of damage, to be fair. Do a lot. Awful lot of damage. Can I harvest these? Oh. Oh, that's so good. I bro. And I know that's on normal salt. I don't care. It's fine. How's our tree going? Uh, is that fully grown now? Or is the other one bigger? The other one is bigger, I'd say. But let's have a look if I can make that swing first, because uh, that's probably a wise move. Um, swing. Yeah. And... Let's get... A couple more of these. Oh, yeah, that's right. I can harvest bushes with a knife. That's a good point. Oh, and very good point. Yeah, I need to sort out of the bathhouse, okay. Um, that'd be enough to be... Cleared bathroom. There we go. Should be enough. Right. Also, 135. Right. Let's swing. Can I place it? No, can't be placed here. There we are! Fantastic! So much heart! Need another one on the other side. Who are? Who are? Now ain't that a sight to behold? 
We got our own le uh, little leafy play park. Cool, that tree's a proper beauty. Looks good, it smells good, and it ain't rotten and yellow like the rest of the trees here. How kind of you, Avak. You made a swing and even grew a tree to hang it from, just for me. Thank you ever so much. Why stop here, though? I wouldn't mind seeing the old place turned into a flourishing forest. But how would we go about doing that, do you suppose? If only you could make a good big field of grass and trees in one fell swoop, instead of having to plant the seeds one by one. Surely you can think of some of it. Maybe you could come up with another kind of worm food as, as to do the job. Uh, well, I'm going to have to think about it, so... New recipe! Woody Goody. A flavorful lump full of the fresh air of a verdant forest summons Wrigley to transform soil into woodlands. Alright. I will certainly put that. Out there. Can I help? Oh, I wanted to push you. On the swing, that is. Push, push, make in a good way. Uh, can I get a second one? On the same tree? And also, can I get this? Oh, uh, yeah, I can. Five of them, please. Thank you. Can? Oh, that's fantastic. There's now two swings there. That's amazing. Um, you know what, though? I would actually like to control the placement here a little bit better. So first, oops, there you go. All right then, let's go and try this out. Donk. Enjoy. Oh, there we go. Now will that turn into anything in particular? Well, it kind of did. I can probably pump loads of them around here. I guess it doesn't strictly matter if they're in the town or not. I would hope not, I know. I know I'm kind of uh, not placing them in the most efficient way. Yeah. That's fine, that helps. Right, can I. No, I can't set this up yet. Last bit of a Let's get the sluice in place. And then we are going to want plenty of earth. Now the wheat seeds are well, actually I should probably still them now when you think about it. There we are, and I now need these. Right, now the problem here is it's going to be kind of yucky soil, so I am going to need to remove a lot of this soil, I think. No, oh, hold on. Yep. Oh. Avak needs an alarm to remind him to eat. Ah, uh, this is true of real life, that's so uh, right, we're going to need to take this down one more level. Now, I'm not sure how far this will... Uh, move back, but I'm hopeful 
But because we're using good soil, it's not going to end up being contaminated. But I'd probably best uh, be mindful of that. This is going to be our irrigation area. There we go. I think this will probably be as far back as we put it. have to see. So that one can go down there, one there, one there. Okay, I've taken it a little bit too far. That's fine. What I'm going to want now is to have a little uh, offshoot of it. Oh, is it only the tiles beneath the water that have an effect on the, the type of water that it's wide? Okay. Well, that's good to know. Dunk. There we go. And then we want to turn this all into a beautiful field for tomato plants. That is not what I meant to do. Thankfully, I didn't get rid of my beautiful uh, clean water. Oh, damn it. This green grass does not go down to the way the, the level below. Alright. But I'm not sure how far out the water will run either, so... Perhaps we'll only take it about uh, this far, actually. doesn't need to be a very large area. But we'll test out the whole uh, only beneath the uh, tile that it's on thing. I say, and then don't only test that. The total derp. Let's get rid of these. Now we need a total of 250 fields. This tomato um, area is not really going to help with that, but we'll just have to hope that it's okay. Um, I would like to use regular fencing on this side. We got enough? We do. Gonna need a gate though. Yeah. And gate. Yep. Hello, we're flat. Yeah, I was at 248 before I split the fences in the field. Yeah, I, I strongly suspect that uh, we won't be too bad, but I did take up some room with that when I split them. So, we'll have to be mindful of that. And over here. Pop the gate there. Let's open this loose. Does it reach all the way? No, it doesn't. Ah, oh, that's a shame. I could, if I could get more of these blocks, make another one on this side that would uh, extend it out. And I'm actually quite tempted to do that. Just have to remember where to find them. I also need a lot more chalk as well. 
At this point, though, I've got enough regular soil that I... Oh, really? What are you Let me see if I can get an instant kill. No. Alas. Ow. You scallywag. Put it on yourself. There's no reason for me to use the uh, foul soil anymore, in my opinion. There we go. I can pour more water in the side, but I just think it looks nice. Oh, actually. Oh, 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 oh. Wait. Much better if I simply moved it into the middle. Because I hadn't... I wasn't aware of how I was going to set this up initially. So I just built it. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's do that. We'll move the water into the middle. And yeah, the moment it went over uh, in the muddy soil, it became dirty water. Well, that's very good to know. It does look like it doesn't affect it if it's uh, foul soil to begin with. I could place down the foul soil and then convert it to good soil. That's a good point, actually. So, we want... Well, actually, that's not strictly what we want to put. There we go. Only got enough for... One or seven. Though, looking at this block, the amount of damage it's sustaining, we would probably want to build... Um, the fences out of that, honestly. Because it is taking a lot more punishment. Thinking about it, though. We could, instead, do this. There we go. And open. This should cause everything to get water. No, maybe not. I'm not sure where the original tile is to fill this area. Does that work now? No, it hasn't. Down. Down, threat, and blast. Well, that being said, though. I'd initially, when I was looking at it, th I thought, well, if there's water in the tile ahead of it, won't that allow me to uh, place one last little bit of uh, soil on the end? I want to see if it works by uh, filling up corners. There we go. Right. Punk. Field. Oh, damn it. See these guys. I need to get down here and get you away from my crops. Unless you break the walls. Well then, I'm off. I can pretty much leave everyone else to deal with the rest. Perfect. Now I need to go and grab... Oh, actually. 
I need to eat some bread. I need to go and grab the seeds. If I don't already have them. No, I got them. And then... The... Uh, holes as well. Thank you very much for tilling all of this soil. Very, very good of you. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. I can actually put them there. I wonder if you can easily walk through these tiles, though. And also, they're not going to be in alignment. Oh my lord, this is going to melt my brain. Ugh. I can walk through them, though, which is great. a little field, but it is our field. And I love it so. <gasps> Pumpkins are ready. Alright! Also, ah, damn. I think that uh, wheat seed actually ended it. Oh, yeah. Let's have a check. Get an avac! The tomato seeds have sprouted! That's gleaming fantastic! Once those sprouts are fully grown, they will bear fruit. Plump, juicy, blood-red tomatoes. The beauty of flavour in a freshly picked tomato cannot be overstated. I hope you haven't forgotten our promise, Avak. Once we're done rebuilding Forrefield Farm, we're having a harvest festival. A harvest festival, rather. Seems like everyone used to get dressed up dead fancy on the day of the, of the festival back in the day, and dance till daybreak. I've heard the costumes were pretty exciting. It's fun to imagine what these... Air raising spine tingling costumes might have looked like, innit? <laughs> Hang on a minute, Alec. Right. Don't give me that look. I wasn't imagining anything inappropriate, was I? Pastor Al? Don't bring me into this, you mud minded miscreant. I haven't the least insight or interest in your frivolous fancies. Oh, do you? Well, ahem. Anyway, go on, Alec. Plant plenty of tomatoes and get us ready for the harvest festival. I will try. I will certainly try. Yoink. Right, can I now tell you to plant pumpkin? Yes, I can. Fantastic. Eye-watering whack a light, Savak. Furrowfield Farm is looking finer than ever. The long-awaited harvest festival approaches, which brings me to my request. Though I'm sure you already have some inkling as to what it might be. That's right, my boy. I need you to ring the builder's bell, send our building skills skyrocketing, and bring more willing workers to our farm. Something tells me your next bell ringing will bring about a building renaissance of sorts. Don't ask me why, it's just a feeling I have. So, Avak, your mission is clear. Fulfill your fellow villagers' requests, earn their gratitude, and ring the builder's bell once more. I'm starting to get a really bad feeling about this. The game expected me to be, uh... to have gotten all of these fields planted long ago before ringing the bell. Because I was ringing the bell more or less as soon as I had stuff to ring. And, uh... Yeah. Well. Poop. ha 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 Avak, you've done it again. The people of Furrowfield are filled with more building power than ever before. I, for one, am overflowing with an uncontrollable urge to build. I just need to make something. Hopefully we can find a constructive outlet for this constructive urge. I'm eager to see what opportunities present themselves. Well, you know, fair enough. By the way, Avak... Have you given any further thought to the matter we discussed before? I'm talking, of course, about who should be our mayor. I'm sure you'd agree. I've got the best beard for the job. Uh, I don't know, it's kind of scrappy, honestly. Uh, well, I mean, it's got its charm, but... Mm. Uh, uh oh, I missed what he said. I see the enigmatic smile upon you. Ah, oh, damn. Pressing up also gets rid of it. Absolutely not. P -p 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 Pastor Al? Any leader worth following is chosen not by the bushiness of his beard, but by those he would lead. I suggest you take some time to reflect upon this fact and reconsider your approach. Ah, uh, Pastor Al, how could you dash my dream so cruelly? But I will not give up, Avak. Rest assured, I shall do what it takes to become the finest mayor this village could ask for. I have faith in you. 
Yoink. I want to have a look at this. Uh, nope, there are no growth conditions. Sorry. Oh my lord, so many people want things. Ah, I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed. Right, let's have a chat. I can't tell you how much I'm looking forward to the Harvest Festival, Avak. Rosie says they used to make decorations out of pumpkins and put them all around the village to get everyone in the harvesty mood. We're going to do this festival, we might as well do it right. So how about it, Avak? Can you think of anything pumpkin-y pumpkin that we can decorate the village with? Just do me this one favour and I'll never ask anything of you ever again. That's a lie. If you come up with something special, stick three of them around the farm and get it looking harvesty. Uh. Jack-o'-lantern. A gigantic gourd with a funny face illuminated from inside. Okay, well, I will do my best. I will make myself some jack-o'-lanterns. Also, I'm going to go ring the bell again just so I can grab all the... Uh the, uh, what the uh, what's the word? The gratitude thing. Right, I need two more swings. Also, let's change my clothes. Yeah. Right, okay, I need three of them. Uh, we've got absolutely everything we need. We're gonna have four. And then, two more swings. Good enough for me. Uh, don't need those. Uh, kind of want that on me. Hot bar, actually. Uh, right, what do I want? Uh, it's not enough leaves. Okay. Well, well, well. I mean. I guess it'll sort of like They'd look a little bit better if they were on. Uh, Are on some sort of um, stone wall, but it'll work, I think. One there, one there. And I need two more. I'm gonna put one there and another one over here. There we go. Perfect. Up to two, four, eight fields at the moment. Thank you. Leave a neck, Avak. These jack-o'-lanterns look even better than I imagined. With these things livening up the place, the Harvest Festival is sure to be a success. Make more of them if you like. You can never be too prepared for a party. That is very true. Oh, and speaking of preparations, do you remember what Pastor Al said about how people used to get dressed up in air-raising cobbler for the Harvest Festival? Well, I've been doing some research, and I reckon I figured out exactly what it is they used to wear. So you can leave the costume creation to me. Do we all have to wear these costumes? I'm not really a fan of fancy dress. Blimey, there's always a party pooper, isn't there? Come on, don't be such a killjoy. Be careful what you call me, Perry, or I'll show you joy is not the only thing I can kill. <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> Malroth. Down, boy. Yeah, there's no need for violence, Mr. Malroth, sir. Let's not do anything rash now. Anyway, th th thanks for making the jack o' lantern, Davak, and uh, look forward to the costumes. W won't, won't you? Ah. <sighs> Uh, let's get two of these down. Womp and womp. I'm gonna ride. Ah, can I ride? That's actually quite, quite bad. We, we, we. Okay, we're getting up to dizzy heights now. Oh my god! I'm in the tree. Ouch. Ah. Uh. Ouch! Ah! This hurts more than I can possibly explain. My face is being shored off by branches. It really, really isn't fun. Why am I doing this? Someone help! I wonder if I can jump off and... Aw, oh, man. I can't fly off. And what good is doing this? Also, like, oh no, I can. Ow. Okay, okay, okay. There, there is, there is a point to doing it. Then I can actually fly. All right, I accept. I accept. That is rather cool. 
Yoink. Am I really shy by just a couple of seeds? Oh no, there's loads of tomato seeds over here. Well then. Well, before we do that though, I'm going to want to do some more work. Now, I am going to rely on you lot, chat, because I'm going to slip away for a few seconds. This is now a shared bathroom, apparently. But only one of the bathtubs is steaming. That does not, to me, a shared bathroom make. Could you please let me know if anyone uses that? Because I have to slip away for just a moment. Shall I put some torches down to protect me from ghosts? Uh, I don't think that would protect me. In fact, I'm fairly certain that would make it worse. Oh, I know. These will do. Womp. 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 I should be protected now. No ghost is going to be brave enough to take me on. But I'm going to step away for a second and be right back. And no, you're not peeping. You are for sciencing. It's very different. It's totally legit. They didn't bar. Well, damn it. Oh, no, there they are. Hooray! They're all using it! Fantastic! Yeah, okay. Confirmed, then. It works. We're going to... Uh, collect. It'd be really nice if someone else would do this, though. If only because I have to go into first person in order to come on. Right, okay, so, now, I want to do a couple of quests before I start placing any more bits and bobs around the place. Hello, Avak. Butterfield Farm is looking lovely lately. It's almost time to hold the Harvest Festival, and I can't think of a better place for it. But there was one little thing. That is to say, I wanted to ask you if you wouldn't mind... I... I want you to make some bunting and decorate the entire village with it, so that it looks as festive as po it possibly can. Yeah. <sighs> Finally worked up the courage to ask. Lillian was right all along. If there's something I want to say, I just need to jolly well say it. So there you have it. I want you to make at least 30 pieces of bunting and string them between every building in the village. Uh, sure. I can definitely do that. That uh, was Lillian. Hello. Hello, Avak. I was just thinking of asking you something. How in the world did you know? <laughs> Pastor Al says he expects great things from me. Apparently, it's my time to shine. I couldn't agree more. It's time for me to step out of my sister's shadow and stride forth as a strong, independent woman. The first thing I will need is a room of my own. I'm not too fussy about the furniture. A simple stool, some straw bedding, and a torch should do. Oh, and obviously I'll need a nameplate too. Hang it on the wall inside so that everyone knows whose room it is. Yeah. Avak, I'd be ever so grateful if you could build me a room that's mine and mine alone. Oh, and don't forget to write my name on the nameplate. I don't want there to be any confusion about who the room belongs to. Okay. That is definitely something I can do. Wow, the room in the... in The, <laughs> the room in... <laughs> oh my god, that is such a bad room. It's got foul, yucky, awful soil walls. How could you? How could you? Yep. Awful tutorial is awful. My yep. lord. Now, here's a question, though. Yep. I wonder... If I were to, for example, make a room... A bedroom, which has an adjoining... Lavatory. Would that be part of that person's laptop? I guess it might be if you put the nameplate there. Can I make firewood? If you can place two in the bathroom, I believe you can make a deluxe bathroom. Lux bathroom. Well, ah, uh, man, I really shouldn't have read that. Leon, that was a massive spoiler, but uh, I'll try. Please, no more, more, unless I ask. In which case, you know, I brought it on myself. But no more spoilers about how to make rooms. Unless I'm thoroughly, thoroughly confused. And in which case, that's fine. Especially if I've asked. Um... Let's see. 
Womp, womp, womp. Let's have a look. Uh, name plate. No, oh, can I make any better bedding? Mr. Lovings, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime there. Um, I'm going to get a rustic door for this one. Uh, is there anything else I want to put in there? I don't think so. I mean, I can make a bunch of bunting, actually. Okay, I think that's my lot. Boink. And one... Good. Stool. Oh, I think that's it. Let's have a gander in here, then. Oh, I need the... Uh, yeah, I, I keep trying to click on an empty tile uh, in my hotbar to choose to start placing tiles there. That's not quite how it works. Uh, the other thing I wanted, actually, was this. And... Now then, what I would very much like to do in this room is place down the carpets. Finally, have a reason to. I'm really, really tempted though. To uh, use to make a little uh, bathroom in here, and then place down the um, uh, what's it called the nameplate, and just see if that causes any difference. If it becomes a personal bathroom. Ah, well. She didn't tell me she didn't want to be wet. I mean, it's fair to say that I should have known this. Nevertheless, you should have said it. All right, let's pop this there. Right. Whose room do you want this to be? Uh, well, oh, thank goodness I don't have to write it myself. That would have been awful. Uh, there we go. Which room will belong to Lillian? Is this okay? Yes. Lillian's room. I've still got this on the bed, yeah. Donk. Donk. Why can I not place it there? There we go. Donk. The tile there. A little stool over here, maybe. Small private bedroom. Oh, and we need a torch as well. Uh, I mean... I mean... Oh, it's already got a... Never mind, never mind. It's all okay. It's okay. You are saved. I didn't have to turn it into an evil room. I don't want to do though, I'll be honest. There was a big part of me that really wanted to see what would happen. Suddenly, Lily is evil. Oh my goodness, you built a room for me. And just it's just like I asked. Like you ever so much, Avak. Why not build rooms for the others too? You just need to hang a nameplate in the room and write someone's name on it. And everyone will know it belongs to them and them alone. By the way... Some of the other villagers mentioned that you and Malroth came here to find some people to help you grow a little greenery on your island. Well, I'd be more than happy to help. I'd love to see more of the world, so when you're ready to go back home, don't hesitate to invite me. Now she wants me to build everyone a room into Slippery Slope once again. Damn it. This needs to not be here. Don't want to put place just outside. Hopefully. That is kind of boring. 
Um. Now, what I could do is build some roofing. Sure. Make 40 of them. Bonk. Let's just see how these place. That is not what I wanted. Really not what I wanted, actually. Damn it. Let me up. Hmm. I suppose what I can do is rotate them. More or less. They're more or less rotated. It'd probably be easy for me to do like that, though. And then... Uh, honestly, we'll use floorboards and... There's a part of me that is kind of happy with uh, just letting it be, though. Um, maybe I could use these blocks, or maybe even the bark block. Um, uh, actually, I think we could probably use the plumbery lumber. But I'll have to pop them in certain areas. Better go over there. How about? Over here. No! Stop being so naughty. Oh, I had my crops! You wretches! Wow. Oh! Ha ha! Oh. I now tell this. I can! Uh, planting poles! There we go. Now the townspeople should go ahead and plant everything. Right, and while all that's happening, let's just get back up here and make some. tomatoes. And pumpkins. Then we will know what it is. We need to pop these down here, then, so that the peeps can take care of it. Right, I want on here, and there, and then, I must say I'm just going to fill this in. Should create a nice look from the outside, I'm thinking. That looks lovely there. I approve. And we're going to take it up probably... Oh, there we are. Grows loads of crops. Mission complete. I've just uh, set the pumpkins and tomatoes to, to grow. Oh, I believe I missed Mr. Loving's resubscription. Thank you very much. Nine months. Oh, sorry, two months. <laughs> I wish. Ah, oh, my lord. My brain is melting. Yippee! We did it, Avak! We did it! Funfield Farm is back and better than ever. And we've done everything we needed to keep the deer tree happy, too. Uh huh? Look, Avak, there's so much power flowing through the deer tree. Let's go and have a closer look.
Oh, wow. The tree grows even bigger. It's, it's so beautiful. It's more wonderful than I ever imagined. Blimey. All the energy from the plants we grew has flowed into the deer tree. I'm just about moved to tears thinking about it. Wah ha ha ha! Perhaps we can restore life to, life to the island after all. We should drive the ill wind from these fair shores once and for all. Hmm. The deer tree's growth proceeds apace. Perhaps with time it will reach its full size and its full strength. But I fear the children of Hargon will seek to destroy it long before then. We must consult with the brainy baboon before it is too late. But before that, it's party time! Today is the day Furrowfield Farm finally back on its feet, and if that ain't enough to warrant an harvest festival, I don't know what is. Hmm, well said, Perry. Hear me, humans. It's time for us to celebrate a job well done. I was hoping... Oh my god. Malroth. You are a bit wicked looking, aren't you? 